Hey everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to Friendship Shagun. I hope you're doing very well. I've got a German themed shave for you today. I'll start with the soap I'm going to be using and it is Tabac Original. And uh, I have lathered that up onto my Colonia number no. one brush here. I've actually loaded the brush. I haven't lathered up the soap, I've loaded the brush. This is my Shave Mac brush. And the razor I'm going to be using today is a Muda R41. Look at that, beautiful. And uh, I've actually got a Muda blade in there. Second use on this blade. So that is going to be my shave for today. I've actually had a warm cloth on my face. And I don't normally do that. It's been one of those days, guys, and I just fancied a warm cloth and just taking a moment to relax a little bit. Let's get... Um, Let's get lathering. So I've had my brush soaking. Just getting a smell of the tobacco because I put a post on the Facebook group and said, uh, what does it smell of? And um, we had a few suggestions such as a floral sweet leaf tobacco or a lavender funk or a sweet powdery floral. Well, on the Mora and Burt's website it is described as having peppery spicy accents with aldehydic notes, exotic woods and a floral complex. There's quite a lot there, isn't there? But its actual notes are the head notes. The ones you smell when you first put your nose into the tub or you first start using the soap are pepper, bergamot and petit grain. The heart notes are Carnation, or lavender, and geranium, and the base notes are sandalwood, musk, and vetiver. So it definitely is a little bit of a floral soap in this in the middle there, with some lavender as well. It's one of those soaps where you either love it or you hate it. But although it is called Tobacco Original, the scent has been updated a number of times over the years. And the latest update in the scent for the original was 2014 but love it or hate it it is a superb soap and it gives a tremendous lather as you can see now we put that there don't use this razor very often. It is just a little bit aggressive for me to use as a, a daily shaver or even to use every couple of days quite comfortably. Um, it has a combination open comb and safety bar 
but it is a very short and a blade comes onto the skin very quickly. It actually says on the Moolah website, um, what's the wording they use? Shouldn't be used by beginners, basically. However, saying that with a good quality soap that's well hydrated, it's not as aggressive as most people that haven't used it perhaps think it's going to be. It is a very effective shave though mine i use mine in two passes rather than three and it gives me a superbly comfortable shave for the most part as i say if i were to use it every day i would tend to a little bit of soreness but if you have coarse hair this razor loves thick, coarse hair and will remove it easily. And actually, it's one of those razors where you know, the more you use it, the more you like it. This is my second shave with this this week and I can tell you that despite what I've just said having a fantastic shave today really very comfortable But I am just letting the razor do all the work. I'm not pressing on my skin. Or well, I'm trying not to press on my skin. It's kind of around my chin and here are the areas so that I, I feel it with this razor. A little bit. It's a three piece razor, very traditional razor. And the handle is engraved, which um, the engraving is not very deep, but I don't find it slippy at all. And At about £35, I think it is tremendous value for money. Oh, there. Might have caught myself there, that little. Yeah, tremendous value for money. A zinc alloy razor, beautifully finished very effective that's what it says on the tin basically well, yeah just got a little bit there just took off that little blemish on the skin Um, not is a silver tip it is very very soft oh, I'm actually finding it a little bit big and a little bit floppy said the bishop to the actress Certainly gets the soap on there.
Now the R41 does come in slightly different formats. It comes in the Grand, which is a wider, longer handle, and the Twist, which uh, is similar. A longer, wider handle, and it unscrews from the bottom to take the top off. So a few options you've got there, and the price obviously is reflected in the changes. But this is a standard version. It is a top class riser. I like that Muller made the R89 as a, a mild razor, as it was intended to be, and then carefully designed this as another option. And pretty much they've stuck to that with various handle changes, some of those coming in more recently. But with those two razors, they've certainly been very successful. And of course now we've got the, the rocker, the stainless steel options. The company has a very interesting history. The founder, after the Second World War, started making razors in the laundry room, I guess, of his house. That's what it says on the website, in the laundry room. Started making brushes, I apologise. Started making brushes. And was very successful. And then um, in 1972, the um, company by then was in East Germany. And the state took control of the factory. The son of the founder then left in 1987 to work freelance and it was only when the Berlin Wall went down that that gentleman Hans was able to buy back the factory and um, his sons Christian and Andreas are now in charge at Muller and produce all the items that we see on their website. So. <coughs> It is a wonder <laughs> that that business survived and it's no doubt down to the determination of that family. And I tell you what, that is a bare naked face, very, very Good shave with this razor. I'm going to use a little bit of alum today, especially just up there. Ooh. I was talking about alum the other day and I forgot to say, and I was reminded in the comments, it's antiseptic. So that is a good reason, a good reason, a good reason to be using it. Do you know, 
you'd think, wouldn't you? Because the R41 is renowned for being a little bit of an aggressive racer. In fact, the 2011 version was a beast. By all accounts, I've not owned one of those racers. I don't think I'd like to. But they redesigned it, and this is the 2013 version. Now, when you have an aggressive razor, as many of you will know, and you put the alum on, if you've got really close, it'll sting. The only place I'm stinging is that little tiny bit there that I nicked earlier. Nothing else anywhere else. So, what a good shave that little German razor is. Fantastic. So I'm just going to use one. I'm going to use Nivea, of course, a German shave. Let's have some Nivea. This is their anti-irritation post-shave balm. I was on the, uh, how do you say it? Let me glasses down. Maura and Verts website earlier today. Looking at their scents, and, and then I found another website in the UK, and I got a 50ml bottle of Sir Irish Moose. Really inexpensive, and if you've not smelled that, it is fantastic. It smells of the Emerald Isle, and I've also bought a little bottle of uh, a balm and it is I can't remember the name there was so, there are so many versions of tobacco with slight different variations in the notes I bought I think it might have been called tobacco wildness or wilderness or something anyway so no doubt You'll see them in the den sooner or later. Well, take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for joining me. I'd love you to subscribe. I'll see you next time out. Bye-bye now.